Tissue Massage Center to show you how to work on problem knees. So I get this question a lot, why are my knees hurting? The number one reason why knees are hurting is usually because the kneecap is not gliding the way it's supposed to. The knees really designed to fit within certain parameters and only slide up and down in a vertical way. What ends up happening is there's muscular imbalances that can occur around the kneecap that yank it off of its normal track or don't permit it to do that gliding the way it needs to. So the most common problem is this band of connective tissue called the iliotibial band or IT band along the outside of the leg and that sits on top of a muscle called the vastus lateralis. Sometimes those get adhered together, other times they're both shortened. Whatever the case, they come down and they attach into the side of the kneecap and when that gets tight it yanks the kneecap off to the side and it no longer can glide the way it normally does. What happens instead is it starts to rub on the, the head of this big femur bone at the bottom, the underside of the kneecap rubs on there, starts to wear away some of the cartilage and can cause some pain. The other big problem is this quadricep muscle through the front. When that's overly tight, it kind of yanks up on the kneecap and it doesn't allow enough movement in the knee joint for the kneecap to descend when you bend your knee properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to target all of these. We're going to start first with just some hands-on using your thumbs. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with above the knee here. What I'm going to have you do is come just above the kneecap, take your fingers here and put them around the back of your leg, take the thumbs and you're going to find right on the very top, right above that kneecap, you're going to push on each, each side and then you're going to shift it back and forth. So this is called cross fiber frictioning. You're going to do this for about 10-15 seconds. This is basically like putting WD-40 in the, in, into the knee joint here. What this does is it just mobilizes that tendon, gets it to move better, gets more blood and oxygen into the area. Now, once you've done that, we're now going to shift to just below the kneecap here. So same difference. I'm putting my hands behind the knee, and all I'm going to do now just below this kneecap, put my thumb on either side of the tendon there, and I'm just going to start shifting it back and forth, just like so. So again, another 10 to 15 seconds doing that. I'm just going to kind of move along here, 10 to 15 seconds on each of these. Now we're going to go to the tendon coming down here. We're going to come right here and we're going to shift back and forth, right? So you're going up and down this direction, right at the side of the knee here. You're going to find that sometimes it's kind of twangy, it gets very tight in through there, but you just want to rub that back and forth, just like so. And now we're going to move on to doing some foam rolling. We're going to foam roll the, the, all, all these different sides of the, the area that's surrounding the knee and actually influencing the knee. So we're going to hit the IT band, we're going to hit the quadriceps, we're going to also hit these adductor muscles to the inside of the thigh because those have a balancing that they do with the muscles on the outside of the, the thigh here just to give you good uh, hip stability. So we want to make sure that everything's nice and loose. Okay, so this first Okay, so this first foam roller exercise is going to be to iron out the muscles in through the front of the thigh. So I've got a fairly um, short foam roller here. You can have a longer one, it doesn't matter. It's always easiest to start with one that's a little softer because it's going to be less painful when you do this. So to do this, it's really important that you can control the amount of pressure that's going on to the front of the leg. So in order to do this, I have one knee here. I'm going to use my forearm here like so. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my body onto this and I'm going to shift my body weight forward onto my elbows in front as I roll down toward the kneecap and then I'm going to push from my elbows here and roll all the way back up to the hip. I'm just going to go back and forth like this nice and slowly and this way I can control the movement and I'm not dropping necessarily all my weight onto that just like so. Now, when you're rolling back and forth like this, you want to play with where you're actually putting the pressure. And you do this by turning the foot in or turning the foot out. And what that does is it rotates your upper leg. And you'll find that some areas, maybe not right through the center, but maybe a little off to one side, a little off to another side, 
it might be tighter and that's maybe where you need the most work. So go ahead and do this. I would recommend doing this for about 30 seconds. And then we're going to move on to the next one. Now the next one is going to be for this iliotibial band along the outside of your leg. This area can get really, really sensitive, so we want to be careful and again manage how much pressure that we're putting onto this with the foam roller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay like so. I'm going to drop my body out to the side. I'm using my elbow here. My other leg I have in front here so that I can kind of push my hip up if I need less pressure. But this is also how I'm pushing with the leg and with the forearm here. And notice the bottom leg, or the leg that's on the foam roller, the foot should be pointed straight ahead. So I'm just going to roll back and forth like so on that IT band. I'm going all the way from the knee up to the hip and back again. So I can control this pretty darn well between my elbow here and my foot here. So just like the previous one, you're going to do this for about 30 seconds. And then we'll move on to the next one. Now if you find that this is these, these uh, foam roller exercises are particularly effective and it feels like it's loosening up but it's not quite there, you can be doing this for a few minutes. It's totally fine. But most people don't enjoy this. That's something they want to get through fairly quickly. So you do it for 30 seconds and even that is going to make a big difference because it, what we're doing is deep compression on those muscles and connective tissue and that helps to increase the blood flow. Whenever you get blood and oxygen into an area, you're really increasing the amount of elasticity of that area. So this is a really good one. Next one, adductor. Okay, so now we're going to move on to foam rolling for the adductor muscles, the muscles on the inside of the leg here. So this is a little bit trickier, but what we're going to do is we're going to start with the foam roller pointed straight ahead like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant both my hands here. I'm going to put the foam roller on the inside of my thigh like so. Notice my legs coming out to the side, keeping my knee bent. What I'm going to do with the rear leg is I'm using that knee to help support me. So you can see it right here. But it's shifted back. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this leg and this foot to help me roll back and forth this direction along with my hands here. So I'm going to drop down to my elbows and I'm going to roll back and forth from the inside of the groin all the way to the inside of the knee. This one is another one that can be really sensitive, especially as you get up to the groin area. Those tendons can get really tight in through there. And this is one where you can also play with the rotation of the leg. So what I would recommend is you try rolling with your foot flat on the ground and then also try it lifting your heel up as you roll. That'll turn the femur a little more inward and it'll target a different angle. And sometimes when you find those really tender tight angles, those are the ones that need the most work. So again, you would do this for about 30 seconds or as long as three minutes. And now we've really loosened up around the kneecap here. So this patella should be able to glide fairly well and hopefully these exercises help you to be pain free.